We've all been shocked and sickened by the barbaric murder of American journalist James Foley and by the voice of what increasingly seems to have been a British terrorist recorded on that video. It was clear evidence, not that any more was needed, that this is not some foreign conflict thousands of miles from home that we can hope to ignore. The ambition to create an extremist caliphate in the heart of Iraq and Syria is a threat to our own security here in the UK. And that is in addition to the many other Al-Qaeda-inspired terrorist groups that exist in that region. The first ISIL-inspired terrorist acts on the continent of Europe have already taken place. We now believe that at least 500 people have travelled from Britain to fight in Syria and potentially Iraq. Let's be clear about the source of the threat that we face. The terrorist threat was not created by the Iraq <coughs> war 10 years ago. It existed even before the horrific attacks on 9-11 themselves some time before the Iraq war. This threat cannot be solved simply by dealing with the perceived grievances over Western foreign policy, nor can it be dealt with by addressing poverty, dictatorship or instability in the region, as important as these things are. The root cause of this threat to our security is quite clear. It is a poisonous ideology of Islamist extremism that is condemned by all faiths and by all faith leaders. It believes in using the most brutal forms of terrorism to force people to accept a warped worldview and to live in an almost medieval state. A state in which its own citizens would suffer unimaginable brutality, including <coughs> barbaric beheadings of those who refuse to convert to their warped version of Islam, the enslavement and raping of women, and the widespread slaughter of Muslims by fellow Muslims, and of course, the exporting of terrorism abroad. So this is about a battle between Islam on the one hand and extremists who want to abuse Islam on the other. 